Imagine walking into your kitchen, grabbing a jug of water, pouring it into your car, and then hitting the road. Sounds like science fiction, right? But according to Toyota, this is no longer just an idea. It's the beginning of a new chapter in how we drive. And if what they're claiming is true, this could be the technology that challenges, or even replaces, the electric car as we know it. During a recent public reveal, Toyota's CEO and top engineers introduced what they're calling a breakthrough engine, one that doesn't rely on gasoline, diesel, or even a massive lithium battery. Instead it runs on hydrogen extracted from ordinary water. Through a process called electrolysis, the car separates hydrogen from oxygen and uses that hydrogen to power a fuel cell. The only emission? Pure water vapor. This announcement has already sent shockwaves through the auto industry. For years, electric vehicles have dominated the conversation around green transportation. Companies like Tesla, BYD, and NIO have poured billions into developing battery-powered cars. But Toyota is betting on something different, something they say is cleaner, more efficient, and easier to maintain in the long run. And this isn't just a concept in a lab. Toyota says this engine is real, it's safe, it's scalable, and it's already being tested in real-world vehicles. That alone puts it ahead of dozens of similar claims we've heard over the years, many of which turned out to be exaggerated, unproven, or flat-out scams. But Toyota isn't just any car maker, it's one of the most trusted names in the industry, with a long history of innovation. They pioneered hybrid vehicles with the Prius, invested early in hydrogen with the Mirai, and now they're going a step further with this water-based power system. This could be the moment when the conversation shifts from battery versus gas to something entirely new, a future where our vehicles are powered by the most abundant resource on the planet water. But how does it all really work? And is it truly as clean and efficient as Toyota claims? At the heart of Toyota's new water-powered engine is a process called electrolysis. It's a straightforward but powerful process that splits ordinary water, H2O, into its two elements, hydrogen and oxygen. That hydrogen becomes the fuel to power the vehicle, while the oxygen is released or used in the fuel cell's internal chemical reaction. The only thing that comes out of the tailpipe? Water vapor. Toyota's system goes beyond just separating water into gases. It uses a combination of advanced fuel cells and smart engine design to turn hydrogen into usable energy. Here's how it works. Water is poured into a small onboard tank. That water then enters an electrolyzer, which applies a small electric current through two electrodes. This current breaks the water molecules apart, collecting hydrogen on one side and oxygen on the other. What makes Toyota's system unique is that it doesn't store hydrogen in bulky high-pressure tanks like older hydrogen cars. Instead, it produces hydrogen on demand, generating and using the fuel as it's needed. This makes the car lighter, safer, and more energy efficient. Once the hydrogen is ready, it moves to the fuel cell stack, the part that powers the car. The stack combines the hydrogen with oxygen from the air, creating a chemical reaction that generates electricity. That electricity drives the car's motor, turns the wheels and even recharges a small battery for storing extra energy. And through all of this, the only emission is clean invisible water vapor. To make all of this work, Toyota had to re-engineer multiple components of the traditional combustion engine. Fuel injectors, spark plugs, and the engine block were redesigned to handle hydrogen which burns at higher pressures and behaves differently from gasoline. Toyota also developed a cutting-edge control unit that manages energy flow throughout the system, ensuring smooth acceleration, energy recovery during braking, and maximum efficiency. Compared to battery-powered EVs, Toyota's hydrogen setup solves a major problem, charging time. While EVs can take hours to charge, especially without access to fast chargers, Toyota's hydrogen system can refuel in just minutes, like a traditional gas car. That means less downtime and more convenience. Another big advantage? Storage. Storing hydrogen as a gas requires high-pressure, reinforced tanks. Toyota's system, which uses water, is simpler, safer, and far easier to transport and store. What Toyota has created isn't just an impressive piece of engineering. It's a real-world solution that could reshape how we think about energy and mobility. The fact that it uses something as simple and abundant as water is nothing short of revolutionary. But let's be honest, the idea of water-powered cars has a checkered past. Over the decades, many inventors and companies have claimed to develop similar technologies, but most failed to deliver. Take Stanley Meyer in the 1980s, for example. He claimed his dune buggy could run entirely on water, 
but after failing to prove how his system worked, he was taken to court and found guilty of fraud. Then there was the Genepax car in Japan in 2008, which made global headlines for allegedly running on just water and air. But it turned out the system required metal hydrides, hardly cheap or renewable, and the company quickly faded from the spotlight once questions arose. Similar stories have come out of Sri Lanka, Indonesia, and the US, each one claiming to have cracked the code only to collapse under scientific scrutiny or quietly vanish. Why? Because splitting water into hydrogen and oxygen takes a lot of energy. Unless the process yields more energy than it consumes, it's not a viable solution. That's why people are skeptical when they hear the term water-powered car. It's been associated more with hype and hoaxes than hard science. But Toyota is flipping that narrative. With real engineers, real factories, and real vehicles already being tested, they're bringing credibility to a concept that was once dismissed, and if their system truly works as claimed, it could disrupt not just the automotive world, but the entire global energy market. That's exactly why some believe Toyota's technology might face serious resistance. The fossil fuel industry is one of the most powerful forces on Earth, worth trillions of dollars, and backed by a vast web of infrastructure refineries, pipelines, gas stations, and more. A clean, affordable fuel like water threatens those profits. And when that much money is on the line, history tells us that resistance, both subtle and aggressive, is inevitable. Some even believe that past inventors of water-powered engines were silenced, not because their ideas were fake, but because they worked too well. Whether you buy into that theory or not, one thing is clear. New technologies that threaten the status quo often face fierce opposition. We've seen it before with renewables, solar power, and climate change. It took decades for the world to take those seriously, largely due to lobbying and misinformation from entrenched interests. And the public? They're often just as skeptical. Telling someone they can pour water into a car and drive cross-country sounds too good to be true. Couple that with decades of failed promises, and it's easy to see why trust is a hurdle. But Toyota isn't a startup or a backyard inventor. They're one of the largest car makers in the world, with a global track record and the engineering prowess to back it up. If anyone can shift public perception and prove the science, it's them. Meanwhile, as China and the United States dominate the electric vehicle race, Toyota is carving out a different path. In China, electric vehicle companies like BYD, NIO, and Xpeng are growing fast, thanks to government support and massive infrastructure investment. In the United States, Tesla has revolutionized electric cars and built a massive supercharger network. American giants like Ford and General Motors are also catching up, pouring billions into electric vehicles. But Toyota is betting on hydrogen, not lithium. And that might just be the smarter move. Because while electric vehicles have their perks, they come with real drawbacks. Dirty mining for lithium, long charge times, and batteries that are expensive to recycle. In contrast, Toyota's hydrogen system is quick to refuel, cleaner to produce, and uses a resource every country already has, water. This isn't theory for Toyota. Their first hydrogen-powered car, the Mirai, has been on roads since 2014 and keeps improving. They're also developing hydrogen trucks, buses, and even energy systems for buildings. And now, with the introduction of their water-powered engine, they're pushing even further. But Toyota isn't stopping at the car. They're building a full hydrogen ecosystem that includes a dedicated hydrogen factory for research production and rollout. They're also working on modular hydrogen tanks, adaptable for different vehicle types, and new liquid hydrogen storage solutions to solve one of hydrogen's biggest challenges. Safe and efficient storage. If Toyota's bold plan works, we won't just be driving cleaner cars. We'll be entering a new era of sustainable, practical, and truly global green transportation. The world may soon look very different, and it might all start with a jug of water. 